Hey guys, it is a Friday night after a very long week, a very stressful week, working full time and taking three grad school courses and all the other stuff on top of it. And it was my birthday earlier this week, so things have been a little bit stressful and chaotic and busy. So I was wrapping up work and coming home and just feeling worn out knowing that I had a lot of homework and stuff that I needed to do. But when I hit the doorstep, I found a surprise waiting for me. Those of you who recognize this symbol are already knowing why I'm so happy and looking forward to this and why instead of doing homework, I'm now uh, filming a video. This is, for those of you who don't know, this is a big old box of stuff otherwise known as a Bobos, and this little little character symbol here tells me that it's a Bobos. And Bobos is a different type of box company. I can't really call them a subscription company because they don't offer subscriptions. They are a very small organization, and the number of boxes that they are able to send out and put together on a monthly basis is very limited. However, that being said, the people who do get Bobo's boxes generally tend to be really happy with them and are often frequent repurchasers. So in a sense, they, they kind of do their own self-monitoring subscription. They get a box and they immediately order another box. So in a way, it's kind of a subscription box, but it's not officially a subscription box. If you're interested in checking out Bobos, there is a link down below, so please go check it out. Take a look at the options that are available in terms of pricing and shipping and decide whether or not this is right for you. What's really neat about Bobos is that it is a, it is a box of collectible stuff, which isn't uncommon, which isn't unlike a lot of the stuff that's out there that's available for geeks and, and people who like to get stuff in the mail. What makes Bobos unique is that each box is specifically put together for your likes, the, the likes of the person who's receiving them. And the way that they do that is when you order your box, you're asked to submit a form, a, a survey form, and on that survey form you select the genres or the fandoms that interest you most and they build a box based off of that. And they pull things from, you know, current items that you can find in your local stores now randomly uh, or they'll go to art fairs, they go to flea markets, they go to garage sales, they go to collectible stores and they find these gems uh, and they, they curate them and they match them to people who will really appreciate having those items. So every box is, is like Santa delivering something from your personal wish list. So what's in this box may not appeal to you, but I know before even opening it that they've read my list and they've put things in here that I'm already interested in. In fact, the only time I've ever seen anyone actually disappointed with a Bobos, and it's not even disappointed, I have to put that in quotes, is because they've received something that they already bought, which is in itself a compliment to the company because they clearly got something for that person that they would like, it's just that that person already bought it for themselves. So really, it's, it's kind of a win-win there no matter what. Anyway, that having been said, I want to go ahead and pop this open and take a look. The other thing that's really cool about Bobos and the, the people who run it, it's a, again, it's a very small company, and by small company I mean mom, dad, daughter, and cat, basically, putting this together. And what's really cool is that they, in addition to your survey, one of the things that they will do is kind of keep an eye out 
to see if you are on kind of social media channels, if you do YouTube, if you do Instagram, if you do Facebook. They'll kind of take a look if they can to see if you mention other things. And occasionally people will open up a box and they'll find something in their boxes that may not have been on their original list, but might have been something that was mentioned offhand in a video or in a post. And this family went out and found it and put it in a box for them. So not only is it just really cool in general, but it's also very personalized and it's, it's really like receiving a personalized gift that someone has picked out for you. So anyway, I haven't even opened the box yet and I'm rambling, I'm sorry, but I'm so impressed with this company and so impressed by the relationships that they've built with their fans and how how amazed and grateful the fans are for receiving what they have to offer. I mean, it's just such a great thing. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and stop talking and open this up. I told you it's been a long week and I'm kind of rambly, but I need to have some happy things. So just, I know I've talked a lot, but just before I open it, let me kind of give you an overview as to what I filled out on my survey and we'll see how well things do. So off of the top of my head, and I'm sure I'm forgetting some things, there are some pre-selected fandoms where you can just do check boxes to see, to say whether or not you're interested in them. They do request that you pick at least five and that makes sense because, you know, items come and go and, and the availability of them come and go. So that gives them something to work with. I chose Star Wars and Star Trek. I like them both. I chose Disney and Pixar. I chose Harry Potter, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Walking Dead. Those are the immediate ones that I can remember offhand. I'm sure there's at least a couple others. But those were kind of the big ones that I hit. And then there's an area where it asks you to fill in three of your favorite characters. And I put in Yoda, the three fairies from Sleeping Beauty, Disney Sleeping Beauty, and Data from Star Trek The Next Generation. I have many favorite characters, but that, that's enough to get started. And then there's an area where it asks you for three things that you're interested in that aren't listed. So it kind of gives them some additional information about things that they might be able to throw in. And in that section, I put Jim Henson in general. I love the Muppets. I love Dark Crystal. I love Labyrinth, all of that stuff. And I also put in, I think, 80s music and astronomy because I like space stuff. So we'll see what they've managed to pull from that. And let's see what little presents Santa sent me from my bobos. So they always pack things really well with tissue. And all right, so the first thing that I got is actually something I have. Sorry, Robert. But I'm really excited that you got this. This is something that I actually got just recently for um, my birthday and somebody saw it on my Amazon wish list and, and got it for me. So I actually already have it, but again, the fact that you queued into that and got it for me too, that's okay. What I got was Ursul the Chanter from the Dark Crystal. And I actually have this figure out already on display in my living room. What I love about the Dark Crystal characters is they are very, very detailed. The sculpt is really, really detailed. So even if I wasn't starting to collect pops at this point, I would have probably gotten this series anyway, just because I'm really impressed. They're very weighty. They're very solid. And I actually just, I love them to death. So great choice. I'm sorry that I already have it, but great choice and awesome. That's actually really, really cool. And I'm, I'm kind of excited because I've had some people who have expressed a little bit of jealousy over my Ursul the Chanter. So now I, now I have a, a potential future gift to share the love. So good choice. I like it. All right. So they also like to include candy. So I got some Smarties. And oh yeah, 
yes, that's right. I'd forgotten. I had also included Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. So I think this is a blind bag. I'm actually blind as a bat myself, so I'm going to put on my glasses so I can see this. Ah, sorry. I'm peeking in. <laughs> I'm not supposed to do that. All right. All right. So we have a Hobbit foil pack collectible miniature game piece. Collect them all. Interesting. I don't know what that is. Let's open it and see what we've got. What is this? It's a game piece. All right. So we have. Oh, this is actually really cool. It's a Merkwood Century. All right. So this is a Merkwood Century. And it comes with a card that I guess gives me the information about what its skills are and what its uh, pluses and minuses are. I don't know what this game is. I'm not familiar with it, but um, I like having extra random figures around. We do play a couple of different tabletop games and sometimes utilizing the figures you have is less expensive than actually buying specific figures. So even though I don't really know what this game is, and I'm not sure that I will pursue information about this game, this, this will definitely be used for other things. So happy with that, good call. All right, this is what I spotted earlier. It's an Olaf pocket pop. I've seen this floating around in some other videos and he is really adorable and cute and I appreciate him very much. I will definitely enjoy that. That little face definitely perks me up after the week that I've had. So good call on that one too. All right. We also have, ooh, some magnets and pins. So we have a Star Trek 50th anniversary magnet with the entire cast on there, which of course becomes ever more, more poignant as we lose these folks one by one. So I love having that. Highly appreciate it. Definitely love that. And then I got a couple pins. So the first pin that we have is from Harry Potter, Sirius Black, Prisoner of Azkaban. And I think it has his, yep, holding his as his um, prison identification in front of him, which is really kind of neat because um, I really appreciate getting this because in the J.K. Rowling Wizarding World box, in the Loot Crate Harry Potter box, I actually got Sirius Black as a pop figure, so that'll go well with that. And then, oh, cool. I have the same magnet in pin form. 50th anniversary. So I love that. I do love, not only do I love Star Trek and, and that whole, uh, not only do I love that whole series, I also really love anniversary or commemorative pins. So I appreciate that that's a 50th anniversary thing. Next we have... <laughs> Supernatural Join the Hunt Vinyl Figure Mystery Box. So I don't remember that I had added Supernatural, but now that I see this, I do remember that that was one of the options. So I'm okay with that because I do like Supernatural too. I'm going to open this up and see what we got. Now that I have the glare off of this, here are the all the different options that are available. The box is unsealed on the bottom, so we're just going to go in for the bottom. I don't really care for the guessing game. I just want to know. So we're going to just go ahead and open this up if I can. There we go. And is this, um, God, oh my gosh, I'm blanking on his name. What's his name? blanking on his name. I can't remember his name, but you guys who see him will know exactly who I'm talking about. He's got his frying pan. I know who this is. I just can't name him. So I'm happy I got him. Thank you very much, but I don't remember his name. So those of you who remember his name, let me know. 
And he does stand on his own. Yay! All right, so we have a letter in here from Team Bobos. We hope you enjoy this big box of stuff. Based on the information we received, don't forget to come back and visit us. And that's all hand signed. And here's our little Bobos guy. So yay. Yes, I will be back and update my list as well. But one last item, we have a figurine and it looks like it's actually Pinocchio's Blue Fairy. Oh, this is cool. Oh, she's sweet. Look, it's the Blue Fairy from Pinocchio. And then it says Blue Fairy 1940 and then a hundred years of Walt Disney World, it says. No, so just kidding. So it says Blue Fairy 1940 on the bottom. And then on the other side, a hundred years of magic and then Walt Disney World. So this must be like an anniversary souvenir that they were able to find or obtain that originally started at Walt Disney World. I have not been to Walt Disney World yet. I've been to Walt, uh, I've been to Disneyland several times since it's just down the road, more or less, a few hours. <laughs> but I haven't been to Disney World yet, so I will have to make it a point to get there. And I already have my souvenirs, so I don't need to buy souvenirs there. So very, very cool. Yay. Okay, my first Bobos definitely makes me a fan, too. And I hope you enjoyed watching me unbox my... Santa gift. Thank you, Santa. I appreciate it. And gosh, if I, if I hadn't already had the dark crystal figure, that would definitely be my favorite. I do already have it. So I kind of feel like that's, although it's really cool that they included it. I don't know. I can't decide. I like the Star Trek stuff a lot too. So anyway, I love this Bobos. Thank you so much, Team Bobos. You did an amazing job and I will definitely be back for more. My roommate's actually on board with it too. She should hopefully be getting hers in the next few weeks or so. She signed up a little bit after me. So we're hoping that she'll get her box soon too and we can't wait to see what you guys included with that but I will definitely be back so again if you're interested in getting your own Bobos check out the link below to see whether or not they ship to you and whether or not that price is right for you I definitely feel like it was worth it and I will be back so hope you enjoyed this video I enjoyed unboxing and sharing it with you and if you um, if you feel inclined, please like this video and subscribe for more. I will be getting more Bobos, so that'll definitely be on my agenda for future unboxings. So if you want to be in tune and subscribe to check that out at a future time. And I'm off to go relax with all of my new goodies and share them with my roommate who's anxiously awaiting to see what I got. We'll see you later. Bye.